Well, we did have a lot of offers beforehand to make films where you make a hit record and then somebody grabs you and shoves you on the, the screen. And they wanted us to just be the group in the back or just pass through a film and just sing a couple of songs. But we didn't want that because we've never enjoyed that sort of film. So we waited until we, we had a reasonable offer. And then Walter Shenson, the producer, came along and with Dick Lester, the director, and we liked them immediately, and they had good ideas, and we all got together, and they said they want a film that we'll enjoy making and that we'll enjoy seeing in the end, and so we just waited until this offer came along, and we did that. The most important thing, I thought, was besides us liking it, you know, so that the film would be a hit and other people would like it, because, you know, everybody's ready to jump mm. to say, you know, oh, well, they may make good records, or so they've had hit records, but the film's crummy. Yeah. And so that was the biggest thing. We wanted everybody to enjoy it as well. I think a lot of people expected it to be just one of the kinds of films you were talking about, the, the real slapdash kind of film, because, especially because it's our first film ever, you know, and they expected us to just go on and, and really be very wooden. Uh, and sort of not be able to act. Actually, I don't think we can act very well, but uh, at least we're sort of trying to do something a bit more than just standing there and, uh, I don't know, being very boring for, for 90 minutes. You know, at least I think the picture's got a bit more life than some of the first films I've seen.